This short demonstration shows how Microsoft Office users can easily access and contribute to the single source of product data maintained by TeamCenter Express. Here we're using Microsoft Word 2007. You can see that we've added a TeamCenter navigation panel on the left and a toolbar at the top. We browse to our home area in TeamCenter Express and select an item for a product specification for one of our product lines. We want to modify this document, so we create a new revision of the associated item. We now check out the new revision of the document. We have the option to enter a reason for the checkout and a change ID that will be visible to other users. We make a change and save the document. We get the option to do a check-in while keeping the document open and we respond yes to this so other users will have access to the latest version of this document. Now we'll move on and show how you can create a new item in TeamCenter Express while still working in Microsoft Word. A wizard is used to guide the user through this process, ensuring consistency and accuracy in completing this common task. The item ID and revision are automatically assigned. We input a description and the new item is created. We now use the navigation panel to browse to our New Stuff folder and find the new item. The active Word document has been automatically associated with this new item. Now we'll move on and create a new item with a new Word document associated with it that we have created from a template stored in TeamCenter Express. Here, we're using the search interface to find the Word template. Here, we can see the Microsoft Office templates that we've previously stored in the database. We select the specific template that we want to use, a template for a single part report, and open this document. We browse to an item we created for a new part specification and use the insert command to copy the attributes for this item into the Word document. We previously set up mapping between TeamCenter Express attributes and the Word template properties to enable this automation. This is just one example of the many ways in which data from TeamCenter Express can be embedded into Microsoft Office documents. We now save the Word document to TeamCenter Express navigating to the item revision we created earlier to link the new document. When we select the item revision in the navigator, we can see the link to the new Word document. Users can check in documents using this dialog. They can also access a history of the check-in, check-out operations for the active document from this interface. Now we'll move on and see how users can create and interact with TeamCenter Express workflow processes while working inside of Microsoft Office applications. In this example, we select the command to create a new workflow process. A wizard guides us through the steps to create the new workflow. In this example, we specify this to be a development release type workflow. To review the workflow, we navigate back to our home area and open our inbox. We open the Tasks to Perform folder and we see that we have a task that requires our attention. We click on this task and the Perform Workflow task panel is opened. This dialog includes information about the process including linked documents and who is responsible for reviewing this task. In this case, we simply choose to approve this step of the workflow process. In this example, we've sent the workflow to ourself to perform the next step in the process, selecting the team for final sign-off. We select a user from the checker group to assign to this task. The workflow is automatically routed to this user. We trust this short demonstration has shown how a user can easily interact with TeamCenter Express without leaving their desktop environment.